Hello everyone, Jurassic Man here, and today we are going to be looking over uh, the second to last uh, React Tag figure I have. Uh, I'm going to say second to last because the one more I need to review does not work. However, this guy did not work when I first got him, but I managed to do it, and that's why this review kind of took forever to make. But here we go. Today I'm going to re review the... 2005, uh, yeah, 2005 React Tech uh, Triceratops. And as you can see, this guy was dwarfing, was dwarfed by Alan Grant himself. So, yeah, let's review this guy. So, a little history the React Tech uh, Triceratops came out sometime during 2001, it was probably concept in 2000 since Triceratops was going to be a dinosaur in the movie. However, you did not even see the Triceratops. The only time you ever got to see it was during the flyby scene. It's a very little brief, but it's a big lonely dinosaur on the right side, uh, when, or on the left side of the plane, as they're facing the front of it. But anyways, as they're going over the dinosaurs, you see the small Triceratops right in the left side of the vehicles. Right there. That's the only time you get to see it. I looked through the movie see that scene together in HD, and same thing. That's the only time you see it. However, in special features, you can see it, and of course, like usual, the Triceratops in Jurassic Park looks ugly. I'm just gonna say right there, the Triceratops looks hideous. I, mean, I guess you could say when you see the concept picture, but that's a concept art. Just tell me how many of the dinosaurs actually look very similar to the concept art. Most of them don't. Well, they do have similarities, but they're not there. And Triceratops from Jurassic Park looks hideous. I mean, if you look at the side view... I mean, th the first movie had an animatronic Triceratops, so you didn't get to see the full of it. However, in The Lost World and in Jurassic Park 3, they did show a model of the Triceratops. And basically, imagine similarly to this hump, but it bends up, like it points up like that. And a long tail on the end, similar to like the first Triceratops, which I'm going to show during the side comparison. Anyways, the Triceratops in React Act form is probably the second good Triceratops we ever had. I'm not going to say it, but I am going to say it. That small little Triceratops we got for the Lost World was stupid. If we got the unreleased version of the Triceratops for the Lost World, then maybe this would have been third. After all, nothing compared to the first Triceratops, because literally, the first one was huge, the other ones are small. Or to say it in my language, chiquito. Hmm. So let's get to the thing. This is the second release of this Triceratops. came out in 2000 and, uh, 2005. It was later released for Jurassic for 2K9 set, and was going to be released for the uh, 13th anniversary of Jurassic Park, or 2013, I mean, 20th anniversary, but it was scrapped and only the Raptor and the T-Rex got reissued. Alongside with those cool other dinosaurs, so we got the Pachyrannosaurus instead, but that was better. In my opinion, Pachyrannosaurus was probably the best of them all out of the first Triceratops. But anyways, for review, this guy is a pretty okay Triceratops. If he was bigger, he would have actually stand more of a chance of a cool action figure. The only... It's not really out of proportion, actually. The only thing that's out of proportion is probably his head, which is big. But since again, Triceratops did have a big head, uh, I think. Actually, in real life, no, Triceratops didn't have a big head. This head, Jurassic Park's Triceratops did have a big head. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, has a JP mark right here. No signature, as this is a Hasbro toy. And, yeah. Uh, detail wise this actually has great detail if you watch the the Ted Brothers repaint of the Triceratops you see that during his base coat it had so much detail and when he puts on the layers it brings out the detail these guys have very good detail but sometimes the color choice like the bright yellow doesn't really show much of the detail even though I, I, I'll make an exception that the underbelly wasn't very detailed at all the back has these large osteoderm spots, similarly to like the first Triceratops. Lost World one had crocodile back. This one has more of a, uh, I think it was iguanas that have these. Yeah. Same thing in the frill. The frill is splayed out, 
in this circular round circle even though real triceratops had these parts cut out because these parts were flat only the younger i think younger triceratops actually have these splayed out this is more of akin to the uh original triceratops design from back in the pre-90s era but yeah there's that its feet and legs are good it's fully articulated however because of this is a herbivore herbivores tend to have very limited articulations like the arms i think they hinder here but thanks to the head or frill it stops there the other arm does the exact same thing stops at the frill can go this far don't want to push that too much and this one can go that far so it's not much the other leg also has a JP mark it's similar to the other leg but it hinders on the tail and stops right here by the belly again this one it can go really back but it is hindered by the backside of the tail and that's much of it can to go now this triceratops is a good toy for display for purposes it does have this lifted leg up right here and it has very good detailing on the bottom of the belly and on its foot coloration wise it's actually really good triceratops more tame I, I like this better than the original one and the second and third repaint I like the choice of yellow here it's very bright but doesn't give that dull feeling unless you look right here in some of these horns you can see there are some smudges up there I don't think that's part of the toy I think that's just play wear and this pure red eye I don't know why there's no pupil in there it's just pure red not even lighting and it does have rubber on the back it has rubber on this tail and actually goes for the action feature I don't know why people pull the tail head up that actually breaks it I think but before we go to the action feature let me just say this guy is loud and right here is a speaker box and I'm gonna actually cover for the first few times uh, leave it slightly open because these openings are enough for it to hear it so it's here so what you do is you pull the tail up and it lifts the neck let me do this first and here we go Wow, ain't that a disappointment? It's my weak hand. From the sound of that, you can hear it, but I'm just gonna pull the head up because it's easier to do because I'm not right handed, but here we go. And that's very loud. Uh, let's do it real quickly of his loud sound, then we'll keep it down because my folks are sleeping. That's very loud. And it has a dino damage wound, which all the rag attacked and upwards dinosaurs have, including the Spinosaurus. And let's hear it. Now, if you hear it closely, you heard a T Rex in the end, which that's not supposed to be there and is very wrong. It sounds like it was. The first sound does sound like it was wounded, but the second sounds like a T Rex is there. Let's hear it without the speaker for a moment. Yeah, a T-Rex war in the end. So that's basically this Triceratops. Not much play-wise other than being a herbivore. I mean, you can't really do much with herbivores, but that's okay. Now let's compare it with other din other dinosaurs. But first, let's compare it with Alan Grant, which he did say in the first movie that Triceratops was his favorite. So this is that. And uh, this Triceratops is way too small. So, you know, there's that. Let's compare it with another React Tech dinosaur, the Spinosaurus. Now, the Spinosaurus and T Rex are basically the same size, so you get the point right here. Oh, not real life, but you know, toy wise, they're basically the same size. So, you could use these guys to play and fight, and that's what basically the whole React Tech form was. Compare it with the Lost World Triceratops, and you can see why I prefer this guy better than this guy. This guy is just this. It's not much. Six dollars you could get it. Maybe three dollars, even less than that. Now let's compare it with the first Triceratops way back here. And you can see, no matter how much happens, the first Triceratops will always still be the best. Until Mattel brings out the next Triceratops. Because Triceratops is confirmed in 
the Fallen Kingdom. So we have seen that. Hopefully we'll get a big Triceratops like that. We should. We really deserve one. This Triceratops is pretty outdated, but it's okay. I don't really... I'm, I'm really picky with outdated stuff. <laughs> oh, wait. Wrong toy. Oh, good toy. I don't know. Let's compare it with an all-time favorite in this channel. The Young T-Rex. And the Young T-Rex actually goes well, because this could be an adult Tyrannosaurus attacking... And you know, I'm pretty sure this is... Cause this goes well for an adult uh, Triceratops, actually. Because Triceratops did kind of dwarf Triceratops... Uh, uh, T-Rex did dwarf Triceratops, so there's that. And... This works pretty well. This could be a semi-juvenile, because if you learn history a bit of Triceratops, the horns curve forward as they age and curve back when they're younger. So, by that perspective, or that logic, this could be a baby, or semi-juvenile. This could be a sub-adult, and this can be sub-adult. Okay, that horn is curved back, but, you know, it's a Triceratops. So, I hope you guys like this review. If anything, I would give this guy a 4 out of 5. He's a really good toy. Uh, action features are a bit loud. It seems like the smaller ones are the loudest. I mean, listen to this. I just pressed the button. I didn't even grab it, and that guy is still loud. So yeah, React that toys are a bit loud for your choice, but they wear down over time. You know how they are. So, remember to like, rate, and comment the videos. Don't try to get me to any Instagram things. I don't need your uh, invitations. And I'll see you guys next time. Dang it.